I want to ask you a question. When was the last time you took a chance or a risk and how did that make you feel? Well, one day, a police officer asked me a question that I never thought I would hear. You want to get attacked by a killer? A killer, I should let you know, is a police dog. I've just interviewed the dog and his owner. I'm getting ready to leave my photographer and I, so I look over at my photographer for some guidance. He's putting the equipment away and he's going, no, no, no. I look down at the dog. <laughs> He's looking at me going, <laughs> what do you want to do, big boy? <laughs> and inside, I feel my heart starting to beat a little faster. My hands are getting a little clammy. But I start to hear this little voice inside. Maybe you hear it every once in a while. You know what I mean. It's saying, take a chance. Take a risk. Do something different. So even though I'm feeling a little nervous, I hear this voice come out of me that's going, Yes. Next thing I know, I'm putting on the padded suit. Now, it's designed to protect me from killer's bite. Uh, more on that in just a moment. Something else you should know about the padded suit, it's really hard to move around in. Imagine if, say, a sumo wrestler and the Michelin Man had a child. Well, that's kind of what you look and feel like. Got the suit on, still feeling a little nervous, but I'm ready. So the officer looks at me and gives me very detailed instructions. Run. Run? Just run. Killer will do the rest. So I start to run. And then I hear the officer say, get him. I look behind me and I, I see this blur coming towards me and Killer, like a sonic boom, launches himself towards my leg and he pulls me down. That's something you should know. When you're in a padded suit and you're pulled down by a dog who's biting you, it's very hard to get back up. You're almost like a turtle who's been put on his back. But eventually, ugh, I'm right back up. My heart is still racing. The adrenaline is pumping. And I quickly check and scan everything and hey, I'm intact. I'm feeling good. The officer can see this too. So he asked me a second question. You want to do something else? Again, I look over at my photographer. He's again going, but I notice he also has a camera in his hand. He's been videotaping this whole thing, probably for the Christmas reel. Oh, well, that'll be fun to see. I look down at the dog again, and he's looking up at me like, you want to go again? But again, I'm feeling a little more confident now. And I hear that voice inside again, urging me on to take that risk, to take that chance. You know the one I'm talking about. So this time, with a little more confidence, I say, yes. The officer goes, all right, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to stand in front of you. Killer's going to be next to me. Why don't you throw a punch at me? You want me to throw a punch at you? Yeah, just, just throw a punch at me. Killer, he'll take care of the rest. I pull my arm back and getting ready to throw the punch of the millennium. But just as soon as I'm bringing my arm forward, Killer launches himself up grabs my arm, and I go down. It should be said, the man who stood up was different from the one who went down. Sure, the next day, I did have some bruises on me. Killer's jaw, it's that powerful, even through the padded suit. But I gotta tell you, the biggest mark that was left was in my mind, because I had tried something new, I had done something different, and maybe I had conquered a fear. You know, how many times in life are we wearing a padded suit, but we don't take a chance? I'm urging you today to listen to that little voice inside that's saying, take that chance, take that risk, do something different, broaden your horizons. Listen to that voice, enjoy the adventure. You know what I'm talking about.